Ah, welcome, 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 my little jammies. Okay. Except for my Gemini, it's a redo. Um, I do not want to talk about the other one right now. Let's see what comes out first, okay? So apparently that energy was not known, was not supposed to make an appearance yet, or it's just not as important, or it's just not irrelevant at the time, I guess. All right, so I, I guess we'll we'll find out. All right, so we'll do this at the end. All right, so you're my diamond girl. So let's find out what's relevant right right, right now and what's not. <clears throat> Just peek on something. Yeah, I'm not done, girl. All right, breakthrough and growth. This is completely completely different all right we have synergy and you coming out of disappointment at the bottom of the deck we have the ton of crystals which is at the end of this pain okay so this actually talks about my last video and i guess for some reason um it is irrelevant okay um i don't know why but clearly it is so right now you're looking at a breakthrough you're wondering if there's been growth there has been you're looking for synergy it's coming if you're still feeling disappointed, you're coming out of it, okay? Gummy bears. Okay, you're going to have a breakthrough when it comes to your money, too, even though this is a love reading, I'm telling you. All right, they're saying, you know, it's... We got, that's way too many. Uh, no, not really. Okay. you got to let go of whatever control issue you're holding on to right now. The person you think that is your person right now, um, this is going to be a little tricky because I, I do have a couple of the same cards, so I want to see where it's taking me. Um, but I will tell you, you know, you have flirt, love yourself first, give your relationship a chance, okay? I, I do feel a, a shift in the energy compared to the last video I was doing, so... There's going to be a breakthrough, so... Tell me about breakthrough. All right, yeah, yeah, one step away from whatever this is. Tell me about growth. Tell me about ten of wands. All right, patience. There's been growth, and if there's not yet, it's coming. Okay, it also talks about reconciliations. It also talks about healing. It also talks about synergy. Tell me about synergy. All right, right now somebody doesn't have the strength. Or you don't want to deal with the Leo. We have a Sag here too. But to me, this is this is this very last step that needs to be taken, okay, to, to get this synergy that you're seeking. Um, you're coming for five of cups. You're coming out of this, okay. The daughter of swords that's reversed with the magician reversed. All right, it, it's just it, it's something tricky, okay. Something tricky happens. It's pointing right to the magician, but it's also saying you're also using. A no bullshit tactic here all right you're getting yourself out of a scenario that you found once was very difficult to you for you to get out of okay um finances and career now in the last read i will tell you i felt like something was going on here um see i don't know if this was a work affair or not so they're bringing some of it into it not all of it but some of it this is, some of it is repairable and some of it's not. This is where the confusion lies, okay? Because last time with Flirt, it was like a third party scenario. I don't know if someone got pregnant. That looks like a stalk. But I will tell you, there was some sketchy shit in the last reading. And it was a no-go. There was no going back, all right? Now this one's saying there's going to be a breakthrough when it comes to something and certain skills will be balanced, okay? So... This is a very tough scenario for my, my jummies right now. Tell me about flirt. Because this flirt was, was not a good flirt. All right. So it's a seven of wands. It, it's still on deep. But my video is too loud. You're still on defense mode. You're still, you're still guarded. All right. 
um, so guided. But I, I, I don't blame you from my the last read I just did. Um, tell me about free yourself. Some of you are all good on getting yourselves out of that situation, and others will not. Okay, seven is towards the trickiness. Okay, you're dealing with there's something sneaky still going on. This is what's so messed up right now because <laughs> this is the same thing in the last reading where some had to let go and some didn't. So that's just it. Some have to let go and some don't. It, it's so bizarre. Tell me about give your relationship a chance. Now before, this was somebody wanting it, okay, with the past. All right, one more, six of cups. Five of pence. Someone was left out. Promises were broken. Something happened. We got the nine and it was upright. So it's, but somebody's confident to make this work, okay? In my last read, it was a delusion. Tell me about letting go of control issues. Someone's trying to control the scenario, um, which is the father of swords. So you deal, you know, right on top of control issues with the father of swords tells me there's, there's I want to use the P word. You're dealing with a little bit of a prick, okay? Clear as day. That's causing confusion. I think somebody cheated on somebody where my confusion still lies. And if this person's not a prick, I'm sorry. But sitting on top of control issues and, and dealing with the father of swords and his sword being straight up in the air and the point of it being heated like it's like on fire, you're dealing with an ass. Okay, tell me about the father of the swords. That was the bottom. It got stuck to me. Which would be the ten of wands. All right, but this is the ten of pence. This is trying to control money, finances, foundation. Stability. Trying to control the foundation is what's going on. Okay. So this is what I'm saying. This is very, very, very tricky. Um, it, it, see, somebody's not happy. I, and the other one, I feel like there was a third party. Somebody left somebody for somebody. So I think there's a baby involved. Somebody got somebody pregnant when they cheated. Somebody flirt. Somebody took it to the next level. And next thing you know, for damn sure there's a baby involved. Okay. There's no question here. Someone's pregnant. Or they already had the baby. I'm telling you. It's sitting on top of the baby hand. Alright. And this stork looks like it's delivering a baby. And it's on top of flirt. It's it's passion. You know what I'm saying? Like temperance can be sad. It's temptation. So you're dealing with something tricky. But you're coming out of the disappointment. But the thing is that something's about to be balanced. So I don't know if it's a court system. But you're like one step away from figuring this out. So if you're in a scenario where you think you're being cheated on, something sneaky's going on, I'm telling you, you, you use your intuition. Um, tell me about temperance. I think this is for you to find out. I, I feel like it's something at work, too. It's, yeah, you're all wrapped up in a cocoon. Like a baby would be wrapped up, too. All right? But you're not feeling as trapped as you were. But you know something's going on. This person's trying to control the scenario. They're being very strategic about this. Like the way they're presenting their words, their attitude, their posture. There's something fishy going on here. You're going to heal from this though. This could just be the past coming back around. For others, you're, you're up in this scenario right now. It'd be a karmic wrap. Okay, and you have cycles. So I don't know if this is saying you've done this over and over. Release, get out of it. You know, the moon goes from full to, to cycles each month. Whenever you're planning or doing something or something you want something to be revealed by asking you a question, you will have to revisit these circumstances. Be clear about your actions. You will surely meet this experience again. Remember what goes around comes around. Like the moon, it revolves around the planets, the energy, the way you express, the next action that will orbit around you. Make sure it's a good one. So this is coming back around. So basically, it's up to you. You're about to have that breakthrough with this whole effed up scenario that you were in. So whoever was cheating, if there was a baby involved, there was some tricky shit, you know, the, the, something with money too. Somebody trying to run a foundation, tell you how to handle your money, tell you how to handle your foundation, tell you how to run your household. This is who you were dealing with. Okay. Um, I really feel like you were either the Sag, what could have been a mistress, or it's a Sag, or it's a Leo. Um, the Magician, we got two Sages. All right, we got an Aquarian. So... It could be any sign, though, okay? I'm just saying, like, this is coming back around. You're so cl close to figuring out what this is. So if you're worth with this person you really feel like there's something shady going on, you're about to find out, okay? Um, or this happened a long time ago, and it's coming back around, and 
the last card you pulled here was love and it was saying i know you love this person but at the same time it is time to let it go and to move on because this love will come back around so even if it's a meant to be scenario it's not time now okay so you might have to walk away from this person but you're about to find out you know, maybe you're about to find out if, if maybe this mama delivered and you're about to find out if this person's the biological dad. It, it can be any any circumstance, okay? I definitely feel a child here for damn sure. Whether it's grown, a baby, it's still in the oven, it's, it's, it's no question. Um, and then for others, there's no child, okay? But you're about to find out regardless of whatever it is that is going down, it's right here. It is, it's coming to our head. All right, your commitment's being tested right now, too. So, There could be some challenges coming your way, but this is your universe's way of testing you. Can you face the hurdles with confidence? When you do that, you need to think anything is possible. If you spend time affirming that something is too big for you to overcome, it, it, it could be, all right? This is how it works. It's, it's what you believe. Do you believe your dreams will come true or you have secrets already that you've already given up? Showing up and being committed right now will help you move towards an, a desired outcome. Believe that true is true for you and believe in yourself. I'm committed to my dreams to move towards with certain things with confidence. The answer to your question is yes, but not yet. Why? Because the breakthrough is so close. Okay, you're halfway to your goal. You still need to put a little more effort in here. Sometimes you just need to realize how bad you really want something. You need to recommit to someone or something during this time. So to me, this is straight up. This is a past shit storm coming back around. Okay, the results are coming in. Or truths are about to be told. And if you want to be committed, be committed. If you don't, be committed to get out of it. Okay? So it, it's it's clear as they hear, but there's still some underlying stuff that they're not sharing with me. Because um, what I saw in the last one was kind of sort of the same circumstances, but a little different. One did not want to let go. And they were saying that you had to that it was an absolute must, okay, let go scenario. And now it's saying, you know, they're putting it on you, so it's a test. To me, it's saying step out of it. But if this happened a long time ago and it's coming back around, then, you know, that that's on you. Um, you had the self node. I'm going to tell you exactly what it said because some it was just, it was a no-go scenario. Okay. Um, don't hold your yourself back. Don't let the past hold you back. All right. So this is what I'm saying. This is a test. They're legitimately leaving it up to you on what you're going to do. If this just happened recently, I wouldn't put yourself in this situation. But again, this is on you. It's tricky. This is this talks about a karmic wrap up for sure. Whatever you're going through right now, it has to do with past lives. Okay, it's it's so karmic. It, it, it you, some you don't even know how to step out of conditioning. It says you might not be able to achieve this. If you feel stuck in something, this card will often come up in a situation or a relationship that you're asking about. It's becoming suffocating and toxic. It suggests that someone or you needs to be released. It's some kind of action. It's some type of addiction going on right now, too. That's very unhealthy. It needs to be sorted out. One thing is for sure. When you get this card, you're being challenged to make some changes. Okay? Attune to the moon. I must release the past. A relationship is karmic and has played itself out many lifetimes. Let it go. You're attracted to someone and you might be on the verge of obsessing. 
Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. All right. So you're being tested in this scenario. I don't, I, I'm, I'm smelling no good. All right. But I'm feeling trickery all day. Somebody left somebody for somebody and some of you don't know. And some of you are like, I don't know. I don't know. Nah, it's happening. Okay. But it's like a denial thing because you guys have a family. Someone pays the bills. There's something. Okay. And now for this one, this is straight up pregnancy and it's on you. So the energy has shifted. Okay. They're saying if you want that synergy and you think you can have it and you think it's worth it, then go ahead and try. But if this other person is not going to put anything into it, it's absolutely not going to happen. If there has not been growth, don't do it. You're dealing with immaturity, whether it's you or this other person, okay? So I truly wish you the best. The other video, I did label it, um, you know, it, it's, you know, you're my gummy bears. Go get your sweetness back, all right? It, it sucks that you were dealing with a Sour Patch Kid. Because for real, some of you were legitimately dealing with a Sour Patch Kid. Like it's time to spit that shit out and, and go find go find the sweetness again. All right, that that you know you deserve. So I wish you the best, the bestest of luck. Okay. And like I said, others, if this happened years ago and it was some crazy ass situation like that, and it's coming back around. How committed are you to fixing it? Because maybe it was you, and now you want it back. I don't know. I don't know all you guys' scenarios, but um. I wish you the best. And my hat, I have like a hat murmur and it just kicked in. And the hat was there. But it was under flirt, okay? So it was a broken heart. But I'm not really worried about your health. But um, don't become overstressed, overwhelmed by this situation. If you're in this overwhelming situation right now, get out. Get out. Before health becomes an issue. I love you guys. Bye.